So about a day ago, right, on Twitter, this they did a poll, this um, group called Friends of, or Twitter handle anyway, called Friends of Journalism, which is Journalist EW, so at Journalist EW, right, so it was yesterday. So the poll, right, the poll was basically asking, do you agree that verbal blackface terms like bra, bra B, R, U, H, should be considered hate speech when used by white people? And it was like, agree or disagree. And they had like about 43,738, right, five days left to go. And it pissed me off. It really pissed me off because I said this poll is for POCs only. I hate the term POC. I really do. I think it's one of the worst uh, things, just like cis, all right? Someone out there is saying somebody else should be this. So, you know, they're making up their own terms for, it's like, for me, it's like a racist term, POC. It's like, you know, that itself is racist because pe person of color. So anyone who is not white is considered a person of color. So I, I was like, you know, who even, my whole response was who even thought that bra is a blackface term needs that examined, right? You know, I've been using the term since 80s. Actually, it's, I think it's probably around about 91, to be honest. So it's about 30 years or so. Yeah, it's about 30 years. You know, and um, and so I'm, I'm like, so you're going to consider cuz, bro, and sis as a, uh, as a racist term as well. You know, and my response, and just because a white liberal decides something is offensive to their ears doesn't mean the same to us dark skinned people. Stop trying to race bait. It really pissed me off because they, then they started saying, well, you can't retweet this unless you're a person of color. And this one, you know, one guy responded, hey, I'm actually one sex Mongolian. You know, and I was like, so you're trying to exclude anybody else thinking, you know, having a say in this, anybody else that isn't pale white skin from having a say in this um, in this poll. So it's, which is already a racist poll, right? I've had so many people like it, but my whole thing was that it angered me because well, this is 2020 now. They've been doing this thing for the last five years or so where, they, uh, where the liberals basically and leftists basically decide what is racist and what's not, right? They try to white knight for us. They try to, um, you know, they try to basically say, this is what dark skinned people think. This is what non-white people think. And so what's white people need to consider what they think. It's like, actually, why don't you actually go out and make friends with dark-skinned people or Asian people, Oriental people, Mongolian people, Chinese people, right, Japanese people. And maybe you'll realize that we are different and what you think is racist, we don't actually think is racist. And actually, we're sick and tired of words becoming used as terms of racism. I think our overt racism is okay compared to this sort of crap where people are like, um, you know, um, actually trying to say, well, this is racist when it's actually not. So overt racism, when somebody comes up to a face and goes, you, hey, you, blah, blah, blah. I don't find that racist. What I find racist is when people hide behind this sort of stuff and think that they're not racist when they do it. So yeah, quick video. I don't really do these sort of reaction videos to anything, but this really pissed me off because it's 2020. Get over yourselves and, you know, stop it. Just be stopping white knighting and stopping SHWs. Your days are gone. You're on the wrong side of history, right? You guys are going to look back in five years now, time, ten years time, you're going to go, actually, we were wrong. We're so politically correct that we destroyed, destroyed culture and we actually hurt what you were trying to do. So stop this wokeness, this SJW. And by the way, woke, didn't the black people start the woke and black Americans start woke, right? To wake up to what was going on in their community. Yeah, so now white people are using woke as their thing. So, yeah, consider what you're doing as racist, because that's racist. Dear friends of journalism.